Okay, hello again. In this uh, video, I will be solving a question related to Columns Law uh, with the involvement of attention. Okay, so we have a two identical small spheres of mass 2 gram are fastened to the ends of a 0.3 meter long light insulating fish line. The fish line is suspended by a hook in the ceiling and it's exact uh, at exact center all right the spheres are each given an identical electric charge they are in static equilibrium with an angle of 30 degrees between the strings halves now the question asking to determine the charge on each sphere all right and as you can see in this question there is quite lots of information and they are really important and critical information so let's identify a few things here I have two spheres the mass is quite very very light they are identical so whatever goes on the first one will happen to the second one the length of the string it is it's right here it is 0.3 meter right now it's a fish line insulating so it's very light I will ignore the mass of the wire uh, the line suspended from the ceiling these spheres given identical electric charge this is a very important information as mean they're either both positive or both negative charges and that is gonna generate a repulsive electric force between these two charges okay they are statically uh, or as an aesthetic equilibrium that's also a very important information that's mean these two charges reach the maximum distance between them whatever that distance I can call it R that's the total distance between the charges and they are equilibrium that's mean the total forces acting on each sphere equals zero okay that will help us to identify the free body diagram so let's start with the free body diagram I will say I have the gravity force I have the electrostatic force and it is gonna be going away from each other because the question said identical electrical electric charge so it will be repulsive also I will have the tension happening because of the string now one more information is telling me that the angle here the total angle it is 30 degrees cool uh, we need to find the the electric charge on each sphere so in other words if I find the electric charge on one of them as mean by default we found the charge on the other one because they are identical all right so following columns law the electrostatic force equal k q1 q2 if we're gonna call them q1 and q2 they are identical eq r square so that will be k q square over r square let's rearrange our formula q equal the electrostatic force multiply by the distance squared over the constant okay cool let's see what information we have and what is missing we need to find well i don't know what is the electrostatic force and I don't have the distance between the two charges so I have a few missing information in this equation that will make it really hard to be solved like this so let's go step by step as a start let's aim to find the electrostatic force we could do that by following the free body diagram concept so if I start analyzing my vectors let's take this sphere here 
that is my x axis that's my y axis and that will help me to have t y and i will have here t x now i can say the angle here it's a 15 degrees which mean my angle as well here let's just make it more tidy a bit here okay sorry let's write it back that's the original tension and my angle here will be also 15 okay so I have a T Y component which is gonna be the T cosine the 15 degrees and also I have a T X component and it will be the T sine 15 degrees okay so so far I have all these information to help me with finding the electric uh, static uh, force by following the concept it's been given to me that these charges are static equilibrium let's see how we can handle that so that's again my sphere I have electric force I have my ty I have my tx the components and I have the gravity force all right so if I gonna start with something I will go with the y x first and the total forces on the y comp x it will be equal ma and that's zero because there is no motion on the y-axis so the acceleration will be zero but what are the forces on the y-axis I will have a T cosine of 15 degrees minus the weight equals zero that will help me to find the T cosine 15 equal the weight and from here I can calculate how much is the tension it is fg over cosine 15 and for the weight it is very simple it's the mass g over cosine 15 please don't forget that the mass is already given and it was in grams you have to convert it to kg so when you do that multiply it with the gravity acceleration and divide it will give us that the tension is point zero one, oh sorry, zero 0.02 Newton that will be the tension uh, force generated in the situation which is great I can use that in the x-axis following the same procedure the total force equal ma and again this is zero because it says it's a static equilibrium equilibrium which means there is no motion happening even on the x-axis so let's do that I have the electrostatic force minus T sine 15 which is the X component of the tension equals zero if I do that it will give me T sine 15 and from here if you just replace the values that will help us finding the value of the electrostatic force and it will be 5.2 10 to the power minus 3 Newton great so I have now the electrostatic force between the two spheres let's go back to the formula sorry okay we managed to find our electrostatic force but still we don't have the distance between the two charges to do this we could do it in this way so what I'll do this is the triangle we have sorry Let's do this again one more time. It's not really a great triangle. <clears throat> uh, 
I'll just gonna take half of it. That's our sphere. Now we know this angle is a 15 degrees. We know the length it's 0.3 meter. I need to know how far is this sphere from the center of the original situation. So if I wanna draw the other side, it will be like this. That's the other sphere. That's the distance here. And it's again, it's gonna be another D from the center. And both these 2D, they should give me the total distance between the two charges, which is R, all right? So we're gonna follow what we learned from the trigonometries. Let's focus on the yellow triangle. And I can use sine 15 equal D over 0.3, okay? And from here, D will be 0.3 sine 15. That should give us 0 0.07 meter. So R, it's practically, it is 2D. And that will help us to get, it is 0.15 meter. Awesome. So I have now the distance between the two charges, the electrostatic force between the two charges, and we do have the constant, <coughs> uh, the, fi the constant of Boltzmann. I, all what I need to do now is to place these values in our formula to find the charge of this uh, of each sphere. So let's do this. So Q, we said Q square equal electrostatic force multiplied by R square over K. The electrostatic force was 5.2, 10 to the power minus 3, and this one was 0.15 squared, divided on an 8.9, 10 to the power 9, that should give us a value. Now remember, we're looking for Q, not squared Q, so it will be at the end just the Q, equal 3.75 10 to the power minus 3 column or you can say it is 3.75 milli column so that's the magnitude of the charge on one sphere which is identical as a magnitude and the type in the other sphere because they both identical they said in the question and that what caused the repulsive Okay, uh, this is the way to solve such an example or such a question like this. I hope you found the example useful and the steps really clear to follow uh, and use it in future uh, examples. Thank you.